and the bunnies are getting their stockings up. I, on the other hand, have been checking out some pet carriers. So whether you're needing to travel this festive season or you're just looking for some gift ideas, I've got some great suggestions to share with you. So let's get into it. Hello, my name's Leanna. I'm a clicker trainer and rabbit behaviorist, and we are the Bunnies Brigade. We're here to help people rethink rabbit care. So pet carriers, of course, you can get a conventional pet carrier. They work perfectly, they last and last, and in fact, this one, I think I've actually had for about 23 years and it's still going. If you are gonna get one of these, I do recommend one of those that opens from the top as well as the front. That way, if you need to get your rabbit out, you don't have to wave your scary claws around in front of their face where they can't see so well because doing that can cause some rabbits to react defensively by lunging or biting. With a top opening carrier, you have the option to pick them up from above where they can clearly see you coming and they won't be so easily spooked. I wish this was that, but hey ho, that was 23 years ago. Now in this video though, I wanted to take a look at some more unique styles. I picked three that all had something about them that was ideal for rabbits and showcase features that you definitely want to look out for when it comes to picking out a carrier for your rabbit or rabbits. And there are one or two things that aren't so rabbit friendly that I'll point out as I go as well for you to keep in mind. I should let you know that I have not been asked to review any of these products, nor are any of these companies sponsoring me. All of them are linked in the description below, and I do use affiliate links, which means if you click on one of those links, I may receive a small commission, but at no extra cost. To you. I'll start with the Jehovin, Jehovin pet carrier. They just released a newer upgraded version, so I ordered that one as I saw there were some complaints about the original collapsing too easily. I gather they may have improved upon that. I honestly don't know if they did as I never tried the older version, but I never had any problems with it collapsing or not holding its shape. So all good there. It comes in black or grey. I chose the grey. I thought it'd be a bit more of a light silvery colour from the pictures, but it turned out to be a darker, definite grey colour in real life. It has lots of ventilation with a mesh top that can be unzipped and rolled back and fastens in place with a Velcro strap. There's two things I really love about this carrier. First of all, it has so many pockets. It not only has these spacious pockets on the front, it has a hidden zip pocket on the inside, plus a waterproof pocket on the back. I've not seen a pet carrier with so many pockets. and You definitely wouldn't need to take an extra handbag or purse or anything with you if you had this carrier. The other thing that's really, really great about this one is it has openings on both sides that unzip all the way to the bottom of the bag. This turns the bag into a fun tunnel for your bunny. A design that has an easy entry for them is something I look for most in a carrier, as we want to aim to train our rabbits to enter on command. And with this one being so tunnel-like, which we know rabbits love, well that's an even bigger plus when it comes to training and positive reinforcement. Another kind of minor thing I liked was the safety leash. Now most of these carriers have them attached on the inside, and this one is sewn in the bottom of the carrier, which is a pretty rabbit-friendly feature, as it means you can hide it underneath this floor pad they give you when you're not using it, and there's no risk of it being chewed off. In most carriers, this piece hangs from quite high up on the side of the bag, something that a rabbit could very easily be annoyed by, in which case they'll take it upon themselves to tidy that right up. I think this carrier is a perfect pick for a single bunny. However, it's a bit small for two rabbits, and when I had Pepper and Wally try it out together, they looked a little cramped. The only thing I wasn't keen on, such a tiny thing, was the placement of the pockets in conjunction with the mesh top rolled back. It seemed like it was designed to be carried on your left shoulder, and it's, it's really not a deal breaker for me, as it's not like I can't carry it on my left, it's just I felt a bit odd because 
uh, being very right dominant, I always carry my bags on my right. That said, if you're left-handed or you just prefer carrying your bags on your left shoulder, then this is actually probably a big plus for you. I don't think there are many carriers that are configured in this way. At $49.99, at the time of making this video, the Jehomvin, Jehomvin, however you pronounce it, is my lowest price option. But if 50 bucks is out of your budget, they do still have the original available at $39.99. So what if you have two rabbits and you want to get them something a bit bigger? Well, for a larger option, the pet's home carrier is a good choice. It comes in two sizes, a small and a medium. This is the medium. If you have more than one rabbit, the small will not cut it, trust me. The medium though, I was taken aback by how big this one was. It's definitely big enough for both Pepper and Wally to sit or even lie down in comfortably. It's not gonna pass as an oversized handbag though, as I think a lot of people expect it to from the product pictures. It's just very wide and it does feel kind of awkward when you try to carry it on your shoulder. And that also makes the carrier tilt a lot, which can make any bunnies inside feel very uneasy. The best way to carry this one would be by holding the straps in your hand. It's a really beautiful looking alternative to a more traditional carrier. It's pretty much the exact same size as my traditional hard sided carrier. It's made of some great quality faux leather material and it's super sturdy. There's a pocket on the back, albeit very small, you wouldn't be able to fit a lot in there. The safety leash does hang down from the side on this one, like I mentioned earlier, so it's not great, but you can tuck the clip down beside the floor pads to keep it flush to the side of the bag and not flapping around in their faces. And speaking of floor pads, it does indeed come with two removable, quite nice, thick, cushiony pads. It comes in six color options. I've got the one in black here, and I really like the brown as well as this fabric black with a brown trim they do. It has lots of ventilation with three mesh windows, and you can choose to have this side piece rolled up or rolled down and it snaps to secure it. The lid can also snap back at various intervals, but I would probably only ever use the first snaps for a very small opening, if at all, because there is a high risk of your rabbit jumping out. It unzips all the way back, so they can hop in on their own, which again is helpful to get them comfortable with the carrier and makes training easier. The whole thing is delivered in three separate pieces that have to be zipped together. It's very quick and very easy and there are basic instructions they give you on how to do it. You should know, however, that the first order I placed, I only received one piece. No joke, I only got one single side panel in a box. I really couldn't quite believe it. The seller quickly resolved the issue, but then I had to order a different color as my original choice was out of stock. So if you are interested in ordering this carrier, my advice would be to order a color that has plenty of stock because I think the lack of stock may have had something to do with the mishap. All in all, if you need something to transport two rabbits in and are wanting something cuter than your conventional carrier, this is a good choice. Prices do seem to fluctuate a bit and for some reason they can differ depending on the color you choose, but this carrier costs somewhere between $76 and $81. Okay, this final choice is something completely different. If you are looking to go all out for your fuzz balls, this is the Ibi Yaya 5-in-1 Pet Stroller. This guy is so versatile. We took a road trip recently and it was really useful as a car seat. Pepper and Wally felt safe in there where they could cuddle up and hide whilst the car was moving. There's an attachable, adjustable shoulder strap that clips onto the plastic loops either side and it becomes a carrier. The strap can also be configured as backpack straps as well, although I haven't had my two test out the backpack yet because I'm not sure they would really appreciate it. There is a lot less floor space in the backpack configuration, so I imagine this wouldn't be terribly comfortable for two rabbits. Same goes 
for the trolley wheels that you can also fit on to make it a wheelable carrier. And the main feature of this carrier is of course the stroller attachment. What I love is you can choose to fit this on the stroller frame with the carrier entrance facing towards or away from you. I prefer to have it face me, especially as this is all a very new experience for them. I can easily and frequently deliver treats that will help them build, again, positive association with it, and I can keep a close eye on how they're responding. I haven't seen any other strollers that have this kind of back access. So if you are in the market for a stroller in particular, then in my opinion, it really doesn't get much better suited for a rabbit than this one. This carrier comes in lots of different vibrant colors and like the others, it has plenty of ventilation and it's got a mesh door that zips up and an opaque flap that you can Velcro to it. Both roll back and fasten with an elastic loop and toggle and actually one thing that I didn't find so ideal about this one is when this is zipped up, the elastic loop actually sticks out. And if your bunny feels a bit trapped, and they may well do, this elastic is gonna get it. Peppa has actually already tried to chew this in her frustration, and I may need to think of some way to stop it sticking out before she completely removes it. Inside is a cushioned pad that Velcros to the bottom. It's quite a deep carrier, so I elevated the bottom with a couple of towels to make it easier for them to hop inside. Wally much preferred that. And that, of course, helps with training. As with all these carriers, there's a leash attachment inside, and this one is great because it's actually detachable. So if your rabbit decides to make that a victim of a chewing project, then you can take it out. Then there's this piece that I should mention, because before the carrier arrived, I actually thought it was a second little door. It's not. It's actually a nice spacious pocket that will happily fit at least three collapsible food bowls. And finally, another super useful feature is the fact that it can all be completely unzipped. The midsection folds up and that piece, the bottom pad, and the shoulder strap all fit inside one side panel, and then the other side panel joins up and it all zips together, making it super flat and easy to store. So here's the thing, this carrier stroller, it isn't cheap. It will set you back around $197, but for what you get, I think it's worth it. And look, I get it. For some people, pet strollers can feel like a crazy idea, but the fact is that after experimenting with a few different carriers, I found that the idea of being wheeled along in a pram has been evidently less stressful for my rabbits than being bumped around inside a carrier. So I think a stroller is actually a pretty sensible purchase for a rabbit owner. Now. Before I finish up, I will say that all these carriers are made of soft materials with mesh windows and zips. So if you do have a super determined chewer, then the truth is these may not be a good fit for you and a hard sided carrier will be the only way to go. I'm honestly not sure how Peppa could go, shut up, hello, in any one of these without tearing her way out. Wally, on the other hand, he could probably sit quietly in there all day, as he has been in this whole video. <laughs> anyway, there we have it. A good look at three cute carriers for different budgets. Let us know in the comments which one you might put on your Christmas list. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Merry Christmas.